Hey Exiles, how are we doing? We are back playing some more Saga of Survival. Hope you guys are well, hope you guys are doing fine. Um, hope, hopefully you guys are enjoying your current XP challenge, which is what we're currently in at the moment. So, uh, today I'm going to go ahead and start helping my clan out because I haven't started yet. I sort of wanted to wait and uh, make this video so I can do it along with you guys um, that are watching me at the moment. So... What we're going to do is we're going to get right into it and I'm just going to start off by uh, breaking this guy down. So let's get rid of it and let us start creating. Where is my circle of power? So as I've said from time to time again and numerous times over, guys, this is, if not the best option for you guys to... Um, utilize the challenge here so breaking it down and building it back up again and the amount of xp that you get from it so it's about 4500 uh, experience points here oops uh to uh up for grabs so you guys are aren't essentially going to miss out on this one here yeah let's just fix that up very good okay and pretty much it's rinse and repeat here. So we're just gonna go ahead and click on him, destroy, and build him back up again. So yes, pretty much is a very um, bland and boring thing to do because <laughs> you're doing this same thing over and over as a repetition, but um, it's the XP gains, guys. So the XP gains on this thing is ridiculous. So. It's the reason why I've been harping on it for the last, you know, probably month now uh, for a lot of people to encourage to do this and not only for the benefit for my clan or anything like that, but for you guys in your own clans. And if you guys are doing it, if you guys are doing it as a team, um, your uh, experience potential will be out of this world. So what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and just finish off doing this and I'll show you where my clan's up to in terms of the XP challenge. So right now, we've actually got 27 people in um, in the clan. Still got room to grow. Um, so we did actually recently open up an extra uh, five member slots as well, up to 35. So basically, we need another um, eight people if we are looking to get full capacity. And if we do get the full capacity of 35, we, I'm going to look to open it up once more. So we can get more um, more plays in the door, helping with the XP challenge and all the other challenges involved. And the reason why that I want that to happen is because, oh, sorry, a bit of a perp there, um, is that we are getting very close to legendary um, uh, status with uh, the challenge. So I'll show you guys soon. And I don't want to sort of, you know, pre-do it now, but I want to go through my bits and pieces and do my bit and i know there's a few workstations that i can do straight away that i can actually um uh, upgrade and get the rest of um, the xp coming from that as well so that's obviously going to help us out and i don't want the christmas tree yet because we are not in the christmas spirit right now um obviously not in not at christmas yet but otherwise whoop, i keep doing that i keep doing that these button placements are very close and you do fumble over and um, you click the wrong button all the time. I find that I do that constantly, not with this game, but all other games as well as this game. So yeah, a bit, bit of a crazy one, but what do you do? I mean, like, yeah, especially if you want to, you know, do it as fast as possible and you're trying to click and click and then your phone or whatever device that you're using just doesn't keep up with you. And believe me, I, I would imagine a lot of um, phones, consoles, games, uh, you know, PC devices, if you're running it, um, will, would struggle. I mean, the, the amount of times that you do it and it just sort of just thinks about it for a second there and then all of a sudden, yeah, decides to do it. Uh, it's just crazy. Anyway, sort of going off on a tandem here. But so basically we are about to finish off this. Now, I know it's not going to be much for me for this particular uh, challenge here. I did do at least this again, so double the amount um, for the challenge last week. 
but I wasn't able to get too much resources as well. So part of that reason, if you haven't um, sort of heard it in my voice here, I've been sick for the last week and it's just what hasn't been on much of my focus to increase um, you know, raw materials and things like that. So it's a bit of a bummer. So it sucks, I know. Um, and it, it hurts my, my teammates as much as what it hurts me. So, but look, to be perfectly honest with you, we are killing it at the moment. So we're actually nearly up to epic uh, rewards. So pretty much nearly at, at the halfway mark. Last week, we we smashed out rare and we we're pretty much a quarter of that way going towards epic. Now we're nearly on at the halfway mark. And that was pretty much getting an extra, I believe, five plays into the clan. So if we work on that, by another five, possibly 10, we're gonna guarantee epic uh, rewards going by that metric alone so if we can keep doing that then absolutely we're, we're gonna have we're gonna be in line to get you know three star rewards um you know and especially you know things like the um uh sorry the the iron equipment here it's gonna be amazing and then obviously if we can go all the way up to legendary um yeah happy days all around every week in week out we're going to get legendary eventually but it's going to happen with growth. So the more growth that we're going to get in the clan, the better we are that we're going to get uh, better rewards. So for you guys out there, if you guys haven't found yourselves a nice little home or if you're in a clan at the moment, which um, if it has an unfortunate um, uh, down period or if no one has become, or if they've become less active, if there's no one you know, contributing to the cause here and you feel like you've been doing all the heavy lifting, then... Guys, come over to Dark Legion and um, have a great time with us. Clan recently got rebooted and it got rebooted over the last couple of weeks and look where we are now. Okay, in a short period of time, you know, we've been able to go from zero to 100 very, very quickly. So it's been amazing. So it's not just myself that's been doing this, it's the guys. So the guys are the true champions of this. So if we take a look at what we've done so far, as we can see, a lot of people have contributed to the cause and quite comprehensively. So I'm wrapped for everyone that's been doing this so far. And if you have a look at it here, pretty much everyone's nearly on participation, okay? So it looks like we've just got maybe uh, one and a half people that need to participate, but that's pretty much everyone on board have already got the minimum requirement of 5,500. You know, some people obviously way over and above and pretty much using that method, okay? Using the circle of power method. So again, if you guys want to join, please go ahead and um, drop in a, a application or just, you know, apply to, to join. You're pretty much going to get accepted as it is anyway. So I just want to get people involved, uh, sharing the rewards, but also... If you guys are active and you guys want to go through, um, you know, and help us out to elevate our status to the next level, that'd be very much well appreciated. And not only, you know, gaining the rewards, you guys have a good time in the chat section there, making new friends, all that sort of good stuff. So um, hopefully, yeah, we can just continue to grow. That's basically what I wanted to sort of uh, touch on from here. But... I, I did say we did have a few items here that we've got ready to go for the next couple of upgrades. So I think this is in line for an upgrade, no? Well, I've got the items for that. I'm pretty sure I do, uh, except for that. The <laughs> nature cores are the um, biggest, biggest bottleneck at the moment. The amount of resources required. See, this is not bad. I mean, even though it's just a locksmith table and we're not gonna be sort of, you know, or not everyone sort of willing to opt into PvP, you may as well do it and, you know, sort of get it out of the way. And depending on what type of XP challenge that you guys want to jump into, um, yeah, 100%. You definitely want to sort of, you know, make a mark in this. Uh, so what did we say? We wanted some of that. And I think it was some sinew over here. So let's just grab that. Yes, as you can see, I've got a, a considerable amount of those sought after items there. Uh, I know a lot of you guys are sort of, yeah, wanting or having a hard time trying to find a lot of these items. Um, definitely not hard guys. The, the drop rate, especially in Sinew and things like that have been um, uh, huge over the last few updates, over the last few months, to be honest with you. And I can pretty much upgrade that too if I really wanted to. 
And I think I wanted to upgrade this guy here today. Yeah, because I think I have enough for that. Pretty sure I've got the fire seeds over here for this, which I do. And I think I needed some metal plates. And let's just circle back because I think I'm missing one material. Uh, elm, of course. All right, so let's just go grab the elm. And as you can see, got a ton of elm as well. So that's all part and partial to the cursed forest, uh, the additional levels that have been made. So, oops, no, no, no. There we go. Um, grab that and that and upgrade. And of course you do get the EXP through some of the adventure quests and things like that. So um, again, nature cause. That is going to kill me. I mean, I can get the resources required and things like that, but it's the seeds that you have to get. And it's not the little um, the turnip seeds. You need the seeds from all the caves and things like that. It is a, a serious grind to get all that stuff. So yeah, a bit of a pain, but what do you do? Um, I've got all of that. I should be able to do all of that. I think I've got the leather in my vault somewhere, which I can grab. And while I'm there, I may as well grab the belt, grab the bindings. because I know I need some of that. Uh, leather, leather, leather. Where are you? There we go. Look at that. I've got a ton of leather here. And what else did I need? Um, just some oak and those little necklace things. Uh, let's just grab that. So yeah, a bit of a day in the life of me, sort of running the XP challenge. Um, actually, let's just take that and that, and put that back there. And let's just go ahead and increase this. And look, you know, subject to change with the PvP action as well make it changed in time so even though that i'm doing this and upgrading the exp um it really doesn't sort of matter right now at this point in time which is fine but if pvp changes i'm pretty much ready to go you know and the, the, the more that i put into this and invest in it um you know the better for for myself so i guess that's you know a good reasoning why to sort of utilize this time to upgrade some of these stations that you may not want to use and pretty much use these um you know when the time comes so that's my reasoning behind it i mean i don't know how you guys feel about the, uh, the pvp I, I do see a lot of people through socials and things like that are using pvp i recall um uh i think one of the one of my guys here beforehand um let's have a quick look there we go yeah my fella here so um audacity he got 400 meteor meteorite plates from one guy in a raid how ridiculous is that that's an absolutely insane it's an insane amount of um resources for someone that spent that much time in the game yes okay i get it it sucks that you know that person may have lost a considerable amount of those meteorite plates if not all and you know, it sort of throws it into, um, oh, what's the, what's the perfect word for it? But, you know, the, the person may lose all motivation to keep playing. I get that. And I, I know that the developers need to take a look and reassess how this PvP would should actually work. But, again, I get it from their perspective as well. The, the whole idea with PvP is for pretty much predominantly a lot of end game um, players. That have gone over and um, over and above and beyond the standard expectation to everyone else that have played the game so far. So, you know they're at a very high level. It, what what else is there to do? There's really not that much else to accomplish or very little at this stage until the developers catch up um, de uh, and deliver more additions to the game, um, whether it be through new zones, levels, um, bosses, um, journeys, things like that. You know, we talk about this all the time. So, you know, just to sort of, you know, put that back into perspective of 400 meteor, meteorite plates, that's a serious amount of game time. I mean, to the point where that is your only, this is your only game that you're playing, period. You can't really play any other game and get that amount of meteorite. I don't know whether that was from a base that, or a raid where someone has, you know, potentially hacked, hacked the game and, 
have gotten that, that amount. That's the only other logical expl explanation. But otherwise, to get that amount of media plates, it's ridiculous. You can't. You, you honestly can't. So I don't know whether, what, how else to sort of put that or, you know, or, you know, or say it in any other way. But yeah, it's absolutely crazy. But good on my, uh, good, on, good, good on you, my mate, that um, got all of that valuable resources. Now, the, the question is, can you survive for the next seven days um, if you're looking to turn off PVP and um, utilize that meteorite plate to upgrade your, your base to the next level? Because when you look at it, that's what you need to upgrade um, to your your walls and floors and doors and things like that. So you're gonna need a 20 meteorite plate and 10 stone slab. I mean, the stone slabs aren't cheap to make either. So let's go ahead and look at that real quick. Um, so you're gonna need four stone block, okay? So that basically represents 80 stone into the, um, did, I, did I calculate that right? Yeah, about 80 stone. Yeah, eight, no, no. What am I saying? 80 stone. You need 40 stone to make one. Um, oh, no, no, I am right. I'm thinking about a stack, a stack of um, 20. So, yeah, so you need, yeah, you need a lot of stone. Just putting it out there. Oak plank and the runa power. The runa power is what's going to kill you. The planks, the stone blocks are not going to be too much of a problem. But if you want to try and make yourself the runa power there, um, you need the am am uh, amulet of power. I can't even talk today. Steel bar, uh, steel bar, room mold, and oil. The molds, the oil, not a problem. The amulet of power, this is gonna uh, vary on people's uh, mileage of the game. I mean, for example, I have uh, 47 of these things. Now, I've, now, that's just purely finding them in zones. I've always kept them. I've never deleted them or anything like that. But if you wanna craft that thing, you can't even craft it because there's no captured soul in game. And if you if there was that captured uh, captured soul in game, you're gonna have to start killing bone breakers and other high level bosses to get the cropped essence required. Um, yeah, which is absolutely insane. And then you've got the empty uh, amulet, uh, uh, you know, piece of well, I'm calling it jewelry at this stage. So, and then to craft that, then you need level nine of the craftsman table to to do just that. And then you need the old artifact, mysterious necklace, and the broken stuff. All these have to be found in zones. So, yeah, it does get quite expensive. I get that. So this is what I'm trying to say. If you guys are involved in PvP, I mean, obviously, the way that you guys got to do it and be careful about how you keep your, your items and things like that safe and secure, um, yeah, that, that's got to be one way of doing it. I mean, look, to be honest with you, the only thing that I see as you know a kind of a, of a silver lining for now really not much so because you have to spend the tokens for it is the recovery system so when you go into the recovery system and recover your items via the tokens up up top there basically everything gets put right back into your vault so you know some of the items that i managed to reclaim back so um in my initial one i mean the energy potion energy doesn't matter in the game but i wanted it back just for the sake of having it as a little um like a little trophy i guess but you know, things like the gold ore, the gold bars, which are pretty hard to come by. Even my own meteor, um, meteorite ores and the meteorite bar, the Ma uh, Marion ore, I had to get those back. I, no ifs or buts, I had to get those back as soon as possible. So they're the harder items for me to, um, to take. But if there's a, some sort of option that we can have in the system where we can either, you know, uh, transfer some of these goods over to the vault system via token exchange or something like that instead of going through the whole recovery side of things prior to a battle or at any time that'd be very helpful otherwise i've been saying it before and i'm going to say it again if we can get some sort of um you know uh unpenetrable um you know chest like an underground um uh, storage unit that's you know safe from raids or immune from raids or things like that i think that there is probably going to be the most um logical option to sort of go under or take you know take that on i would rather that than anything else um you know and i think that will make the the whole rating system a little bit more attractive to do so i would think that the developers have already thought about this idea uh don't get me wrong i mean it has to have come up um you know ever since they were developing rating in the first place to you know obviously implementing it so 
Now, with that being said, if they do that, people are going to start rating more. So what will happen when people start rating more? Then eventually it's going to come to come down to one or two things. Number one, it's going to be absolute chaos um, in its current state where we can't sort of, um, you know, uh, log in into, a, you know, uh, on a daily basis without being rated kind of thing. Or number two is that we're going to do it so much it's going to be going to become that saturated that people are going to stop playing it or doing rating, and then um, obviously interest in the game sort of drops off. So that's my thought process on it. But I want to hear it from you guys. So let me know down in the comment section about um, about the whole rating thing. I know we've been talking about it for the longest time, but because we sort of went off on a tandem there and talked about everything else regarding doing, um, pretty much came from the fact that I was upgrading the the locksmith table so yeah do apologize guys but that's the end of that rant i'm going to stop talking about it today but guys again as i said i want to keep getting more plays into dark legion as much as possible you can see as we said before a lot of high level plays here well not so much high level plays but people that are uh, committed to the cause here to increase um their uh, experience and pretty much put the time and effort in to get those decent uh, rewards so hopefully, you know, we see you guys in there yourselves and hopefully, you know, you guys can be a part of that. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here. That's all the time I've got here for today. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out the video. If you guys um, could hit the like button, let me uh, do that for me. That'll really help me out a lot. Uh, comment down below. Let me know what you're doing with everything in regards to your clan um, and what your challenges are looking like at the moment. Um, but also if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on, on any future videos. Anyway, guys, take it easy. I'm going to catch you next time.